Hi everybody, uh, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics and I want to show you guys a sneak peek of our webinar we're doing today all about the PTZ Optics Superjoy. Today we're going to go over some of the new features available for Superjoy. One of the important ones is a one-click auto track button. So you can click one button to start auto tracking with a camera here and then you can click the same button again with toggle mode to stop tracking. So you can have as many PTZ Optics cameras as you want uh, with the new PTZ Optics Move features of built-in auto tracking and easily start and stop auto tracking. One of the things you're gonna see here is when I click auto tracking, the camera is going to zoom in to exactly where we would like it to pick up the subject. By default, PTZ Optics Move cameras will go to preset zero when you start auto tracking. So what we've done here in our studio setup is have one PTZ Optics Move camera set up to automatically zoom into my location and then a second camera to automatically move into my guest location. Now, if you don't know who you'd like to track in your area, you could always set up preset zero to have a wide shot and you can actually tell the PTZ Optics Move camera which person you would like it to track because it features a new feature we call presenter lock where it will lock onto a specific person that you want the camera to, to zoom into. So the PTZ Optics Move camera auto tracking is great, but toggling and controlling which cameras you'd like to have auto track with the PTZ Optics Superjoy is really important. And I wanna show you guys just how much has changed and how many new features there are with the PTZ Optics Superjoy. Now obviously we have pan, tilt, and zoom control of our cameras. Obviously we can have all the pan, tilt, and zoom speeds. You know, this, cam this joystick has won awards for how well it's laid out and how much you have access to. It even has a basic mode for times when perhaps you want to just you know, lock it down in a basic setting for a volunteer or someone who doesn't need to use all the advanced settings. With that being said, there's a feature I wanna show that maybe a lot of people don't know about called the Super Preset. And what that does is it allows you to issue up to, it looks like seven cameras a preset change. And it's really ideal for changing scenes. So if you've got two or three or four PTZ cameras and everything has moved maybe from one side of the field or the court or the stage to the other side, you can quickly and easily move all the cameras with one button press. And I wanna show this on the quad view here. I'm gonna make it full screen so it's easy for you to see. I've got one preset that's gonna move all four cameras to my side of the stage. And then I've got another super preset that is gonna move all four cameras to the other side of the stage, minus camera one, which was in auto tracking mode. But that's actually kind of an interesting idea. So if you think about it, I can have one camera auto track and then have maybe like three or four set up in a specific area. So it gives you a really high level of control whether or not you want the cameras to be automatically tracking a subject or if you want them to all intelligently move from one location to the other. All of this can be done from a single joystick controller. The Superjoy is network connected so it supports power over ethernet but it also supports other camera manufacturers and right here I have a Sony PTZ camera being used. This joystick will work with bird dog cameras, it will work with Panasonic, it'll work with even older serial controllers as well. Now the newer Panasonics will work if they support Sony Visca over IP. So we confidently can say this joystick and our PT Joy G4 will work with almost any camera on the market. And our support team is great about helping our customers get PTZ cameras working, even from other manufacturers. So check a look, take a look at the link below where you can see the full webinar where we go into the web interface for this um, joystick. So this joystick is available on our local area network. And this is where you can set, set up all your devices, search for devices, including devices on your local area network, such as NDI cameras, because this will support any NDI camera and it'll automatically find NDI sources on your network and allow you to quickly and easily add them to your camera. There's a lot of features. I'm not gonna go over all of them in this short video because we've got a great webinar about it below. 
But if you're interested about PTZ cameras and joystick controllers, let us know in the comments below what questions you might have, what you want to see. And don't forget to like this video and check out the webinar in the links below.